So in, in South Africa, um, the social grant system is a very important component of what government is doing to tackle poverty and inequality. Um, if you look at the stats today, there are about 16 million beneficiaries of uh, regular monthly payments uh, tax funded and that's out of a population of 50 million uh, and for about a fifth of those recipients social grants actually make up the most of their income um, so the size of social grants in South Africa means that there are a, a number of questions that uh, policymakers uh, consistently have to grapple with so firstly is the system sustainable uh, secondly some would argue maybe it is sustainable and you can actually extend it and expand uh, what you're doing with the social grant system uh, but also there's some would argue that uh, economic growth and employment generation would actually have a bigger impact on poverty and inequality in South Africa so with those kind of uh, policy questions in mind um, the Department of Social Development uh, which is actually responsible for delivering social benefits in South Africa uh, is consistently looking for you know tools and uh, ways of being able to analyze these questions so they approached the ILO International Labour Organization and uh, the International Labour Organization advised them to create a social budget so I'm going to speak about this uh, process of the, the development of a social budget because the, I, the ILO and the Department of so uh, Social De Development then approached us to assist with the uh, creation of a social budget. So what is a social budget? Uh, it is essentially an analytical framework developed by the International Labour Organization to try and examine the financing of social protection systems. Um, the way we went about creating the social budget is that we, following the ILO kind of uh, methodology, developed two components. Uh, so the social budget is made up of uh, two basic components. The first being um, a social accounting system, which is sort of uh, an Excel-based um, framework for bringing together data from different sources uh, that allows us to systematically have a look at the expenditure and the revenue and the numbers of beneficiaries uh, for all the institutions and schemes that are involved in social protection in South Africa. Um, so that's the first component. The second component is a projection model that takes uh, the data that you find in this systematic um, accounting system and tries to project it to the future so that you can act, start to analyze policy questions. and. Uh, the model is made up of different components. Uh, the first are demographic projections that were done by the Actuarial Society of South Africa, uh, economic projections from the National Treasury and the National Planning Commission. Uh, these were combined to project expenditures in health, expenditures in private pensions, expenditures in education. Uh, but the Department of Social Development also wanted not only the ability to look at how much is going to be spent in the future but also the capacity to carry out distributional analyses so an additional component is a micro simulation tool which forecasts um, social grant expenditure to the future but also allows you to look at the impact on poverty and inequality so i'm going to show you a couple of some of the results that we've got so the first set of charts shows expenditure so this is social expenditure in South Africa uh, as shown in the social accounting system, the framework on, uh, that I spoke about before. And um, important to note, this excludes health and education, uh, but you can see that the majority of social spending goes to the elderly. Uh, the second biggest component is spending on family and children. Uh, but there's also a huge component, which is private pension fund withdrawals. Uh, so I think this chart is important because it shows the interplay between uh, tax-funded benefits and also the private side of social protection. Uh, the other thing shown here is the source of the funding, so the funding side of social, ex of, of social expenditure. The biggest component being tax-funded, uh, so general government revenue, um, but second biggest component is so social contribution, so that's basically 
uh, employee contributions, employer contributions to pension funds. Uh, but another interesting thing is to note the size of investment income going into the system. Um, and if you look at the figures, uh, the sum of these numbers is higher than uh, that of uh, social spending. So that means there's an accumulation of reserves in the system, and that's primarily private pension reserves. Uh, if you look at some of the things you can see when you look at the results from the projection side, um, we tried to play around with some of the policy debates. So if you look at introdu introducing a youth grant uh, with these parameters over here, interest of time, I won't go into it, uh, you can actually see that there's fiscal space to do more with social grants uh, and that's on the basis of any of the different growth scenarios by the Planning Commission. Um, I'll take questions. I think time is up. All right.